Okay, this is a really old video that I made, as you could see, back in June of 2020, so like three years ago. And it's going to show you how to move around the case file when the case file was still available. Now, if you jump about 14 minutes into this video, you will see where I get to the part where the footage is. You will clearly see September the 7th was never part of the case file and still never has been. We got the case, the September 7th footage from a whole different third party, not from Rosemont and not from the official case file. Check it out. Despite what other YouTubers claim. Oh, is she trying to say also another thing? She tried to say the footage that I show y'all from the 7th and 8th that I need to thank her and Humongous D because that's who I got it from. Are you crazy, lady? I got all the footage my damn self from the fucking box site. I didn't get it from Rosemont shit. All right, let me help you out because you're sounding a little slow again. I never said you got it from me or Humongous D. I said you could thank us because I'm the one who personally went and found it and brought it back to YouTube. And you, then Humongous made videos on it as well as myself and other people afterwards. So any which way that you found it, that's how you found it. It was not on the box site either the box is just an account which rosemont rented to put the case file on and since they never put that in the case file that was ne never in the box you trying to make it sound like the box had some kind of access to kanika jenkins death investigation case file when they did not the box is nothing more than the equivalent of Having an account in the clouds. That's it. It had everything. It had all the files. It had all the footage. Everything. I didn't get shit from you. She tried to tell me to, I, uh, uh, to give her a public apology. Guess what? You can apologize, apologize these nuts. So let's see what exactly did I say. So if there's anybody that watches this or is here or watches it on the replay that's in the neutral zone and y'all want to let him know, because I'm giving him 24 hours. Go live, I don't care which one it is. And he's going to say it convincingly, not with no somebody's making me do this or I don't really mean it, whatever. And he's gonna let the community know that he lied on my name when it came to saying that I was talking crap about his special needs kid and how I doxed him by giving everybody his address and all that because that never took place. You're damn right, it never took place. Now you said it took place and that I deleted it but you downloaded it, so show it and prove it. If your supporters believe you so much, they should be calling you out and telling you to prove it. But they won't because I'm sure they got doubts about you already. And he's got 24 hours to do that as well as giving hell of a chick and humongous D a public apology for the things that he said about them just simply for being cool with me. Now, what is that? See, I never said I wanted you to apologize to me. Not at all. That's just you manipulating words and twisting them around to your benefit once again. Okay. So if you don't want to sit through seeing how we used to have to go through the whole case file and how I prove whether or not stuff has been added, at this point, you can go ahead and jump to between 18 and a half and 19 minutes into this video, and you'll see what is on the screenshot right here will be where we're at in the video. And as you could clearly see, 
there is no September the 7th. All right, y'all. Tanya, Nicole, you have inspired me to do this video. On my uh, you'll see my latest post here. It says, I encourage everybody to research as much as they can themselves. That is the direct link to the case file, the blue there. And Tanya had, I just saw her, her comments here. This is, uh, she had this on her computer, but some people don't know how to access the information. And then she says, even with an iPhone, all I had to do is install Google Documents or something, and it prompted me to install for the file that I needed to view. You made it simple. Well, I remember when I tried it with my mobile device, my tablet and my cell phone, they kept telling, I had to register or whatever it was for the box app or something. I don't know. It was a lot of weird stuff. But if you follow this link, even on a mobile device, now it's going to take you to make it look, it's going to look like desktop, but you can enlarge it, you know, with your uh, screen just by pulling your fingers outwards on the screen. But when you click this link, I'm just going to show you where to go to maneuver around to find things so y'all can find them yourselves, okay? Let's see. All right. This is how it's going to look when it first opens up. The Crown Plaza parking sign, that's going to be three pictures of really just the parking sign, exactly what it says. See? Okay. Then this next one says enhanced audio from Target Forensics Services Laboratory Facebook Lives. There should be two things here to click on that's going to basically just play the audio of TY's live and Irene's live. And this one says enhanced images from Target's labs. And then it comes to another folder that says distribution. These first three photos, I never have figured out why they don't show a thumbnail for them, but it's Kanika in the bathroom. Oh, are you going to show me still? It's all the photographs that you've ever seen where they take a part of it and they enlarge it. See? Those first three, I know one of them was uh, Kanika in the bathroom with uh, Monifa's little snap. I forgot what the other two were. But anyway, there's two pages. It's 29 photos. Then the next one is evidence technician photos redacted. There's going to be 161 of these. Some of them you'll be able to see and some of them will be in uh, PDF form. I think it's 50 something is where it's the PDF started to kick in. Oh, 46, okay. In the beginning, this 46 was not redacted. And we don't, we ain't figured out what it is that they're trying to hide here because it's like her top of her, of her butt crack, but still, I don't know what this is right here that they're trying to hide. But they, had, they did take it down and redact it and put it back up. See, so you'll see all these. Down. Nope, nope, nope. And these are very large photos, by the way. See right here? That says at 
if you were to go up to 100%, oops, see, they are very large photos. And I noticed that on my, my computer where um, I would take them and put them in one of the photo apps. And they would always start them out at 33% because they were so large. And on the photos that I would take, you know, like, like the screenshots and stuff, they would start out like at 67%. So that gives you an idea. Like I said, there's 161 of those. Now, the Pharaoh scan is quite large. And you're... I don't think you can do it even with the fanciest of iPhones, whatever. I think you have to have a, a computer um, to be able to maneuver it. Because you'll see here it says 94 files. Oh, wait a minute. Where's that? No, I'm sorry. Here we go. 1,363 files. When you click on it, now, this one here is a video that looks like they're just, you know, Scanning through, excuse me, scanning through the kitchen. Okay. This one right here is where the 1,362 files is at. I don't know how to explain it to you. Mr. Jackie Dragon had to teach me how to, how to work it. But what it does, and I don't have it on this laptop, so I can't show you, but, uh, it allows you to drop in different spots of the upper kitchen and do like your own little 360 of the upper kitchen, but it's only the upper kitchen. It's nowhere else. It's a pretty neat little tool. I like playing with it. All right. Then the next one says radio, audio, and 911 audio. Then you'll have these two folders here. The first one will say audio from the phones. There's 13 of them. Now, I didn't understand what these VRCD index things were for a, a while. It was like, okay, whatever, you know, but really they do say stuff. And uh, I had understood most of it. And then Fred Woods, I think his name is, uh, he explained some more of it to me. Basically, it's telling you the information of the phone call as far as when it when it took place this one says 99 at 714 so that's Teresa's 911 call and here see it says uh 2017 and see you'll be able to play it and if you want to download it or record it whatever you want to do 911 where's the address of your merch please okay that's all your telephone calls. And then this other one where it says audio from radio frequencies, that's all the, uh, I guess like you're, when they're calling into the dispatcher and stuff like that. Now, they'll have the, the VR CD index cards also, and they should match up to the, the radio calls, okay? Some of them's from the fire department, some from the police department, even though they're all run under the same roof. Where's that 158 times 23? 158 message received. And the way to read these things is in the title. On September the 10th, at 3 minutes and 16 seconds after midnight is when this radio call was made, okay? Then the next one is RPSP, Rosemont Public Safety. I don't know what the last P is for. But anyway, you'll have two, two folders there. And then this one here is a PDF. Wow, they let me look at it on here, which is your 13 page incident report.
okay? You download that and all 13 pages are gonna come down at you, which is great because a lot of these, they make you download one page at a time. All right, then on your images, 373 of these. Some's PDF, some's not. These are gonna be, there'll be some photos in here like this, but they'll also be uh, like your receipts, your, you know, certain documents, the warrants, things like that. The key, uh, what do you call them, Jackie? Uh, the log for the, the key uh, uh, cards for the room, the credit card information, all that stuff that you've seen people have, you know, put online or whatever. This is where this is going to be found at. Okay, all the folios. And they're not going to be in any kind of order. The toxicology, the medical examiner, all that stuff is going to be under this uh, images folder. There's going to be a bazillion uh, timesheets. I think it's 28 and 17 different. I don't know how they figured it out. Uh, but anyway, that's, you know, on those. Then on the narratives, it's a little bit deceiving because it's not just narratives. It's 141 of those. Like this number 10 here, it's from uh, Dan, PSO Dan Pavila. And he's reporting that on the 11th is when He was assigned to take a video of the path of the victim is believed to have walked from her hotel room to the freezer. He arrived at that address at that time, he finished at this time. The video was done on a Sony Handycam, burned onto a DVD, and it was placed in locker number four. Everything's in locker number four, I think. <laughs> okay. But then... You will have like 101 here. That's the phone, one of the phone dumps, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Rebreeze phone dump. And if you're trying to figure out how the numbers go, I don't know the proper terminology, but you know, when you're in school, you're taught like nine, 10 has two digits, okay? And we're taught to go and, you know, on the right hand side here to put them in, in, in numeric order. The computers, and it's not just Rosemont, because my computer does the same thing. It's taught to read these numbers from the left side. So that's why you have 100, 101, 102. See on top here, it starts out with 10. That's how these numbers are going to be in order. You got to get your brain a little adjusted to understand how to, to find everything. See what I mean? Then when you get to, uh, let's see. Okay, right here, look. See how it says 13, and then it'll say 140, 141, 142, 143, and then 14, 15, 16. Because it's reading from the left. And then start 1, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You gotta read from the left instead of from the right, like we were, you know, you gotta retrain your brain basically to find everything that you're looking for. All right, that's the RPSP and then the surveillance videos. If you're on a mobile device, I don't know. Because <laughs> if you can download it, any of it, I don't know if your device will be able to read it. However, I've watched people on their lives. They were actually able to you know, view it right from the website and just screen record it. But I can't do it with a desktop. I'll show you what I get. We got the August the 30th, September 8th, 9th, and 10th, okay? You see how many files there are, okay? Then they'll be in order like this. Now, if I click on it, it's still just going to take me to a screen that says if I want to download it. It's not going to show it to me. However, like I said, I've seen some people, and the only thing I can assume is that they got some kind of 
whatever their device is, they're able to view it. But they'll be in alphabetical order on these. And you will have some that, well, let me see. Like on the ninth here, there's 2,948 clips. What that is, is like the food court hall west, the meeting hall east, the meeting hall west. Um, let me see. I can't think of another one off the top of my head. But those three are divided like into, like one of them's got over a thousand just by itself. And I don't even know why. It is what it is. Then you'll have other ones like the food court hall itself, which will run like 12 hours all on one thing. No rhyme or reason. Then your videography. That is different than your Pharaoh scan because your videography is going to be where the cop actually walked through viewing. Now, when I first got on here, I didn't think I had to have this other thing, but I did because it didn't want to act right if I didn't. So each one has a, has a two part to it. Now you can get on here like this and you can view it. If you're going to screen record it instead of downloading it. See? It'll probably take up less space on your device. I don't know. See, I had to skip that one there because it was that, that little folder thing. I don't know what it is. Okay. Then you have the CIS log entries. To me, this is kind of important. And I'm going to sit down with it one day and actually, well, I've, I keep starting it and I just have never finished it. Six pages long. Why is it not shrinking? Okay, whatever. Basically, it's the phone call logs that the cops are making to different people, whether it was to another uh, police station or whether they were trying to get a hold of the Wilson boys, you know, different things like that. Like here it says, uh, at 0929, which was on the 10th of, of oh, okay, now you want to get in there. Okay, smart ass. Where did it go? Here we go. I can see it. Incident number. I see there. I don't, I've never checked to see if all the incident numbers are the same because actually there are two different case numbers that I've found in this case so far on these documents. Anyway, on the here it says, uh, I took a transferred call from CPD Sergeant Velasquez regarding the Facebook live video. He received a tip where the caller was unwilling to provide any name or contact number. So it's just, it's like a phone log call. And then of course, you know, they're going to redact certain parts of it. Okay. Then the last thing here is if you want to do a FOIA request and you want to go directly to Rosemont to do it. This is uh, a template, I guess you could call it. Okay. That is the case file. That link will bring you right to this page here. So you won't have to go through the government, the village, a people, village, whatever, and all that other stuff like, you know, we always had to do. That link right there will bring you right here to this page. The di other thing that you'll notice a difference of is um, on your mobile devices, it'll have that the modified date. T date right here will always be changing and changing and changing. And it doesn't mean anything's being modified. This date on the desktop will never change because nothing's been changed since April the 10th. 
And April the 10th is when they added the audio for the two lives. And like I said, you know, uh, on one of my videos, it's, you know, first thing I do when I come here is I'll look right here, 279.8. Okay, that means the size of nothing's changed. The dates of nothing's changed. Um, if you're doing it from a computer and not, not a, a mobile device, you can use your mouse to do things like this where you can put it in order of the last thing, you know, that they added. See? April 10th, January 26th, December 15th, October 20th. This December 15th, that was some of the Vice Lords, uh, last, uh, the last ones that they found to do their narratives. Um, another thing I used to do when I was downloading the entire case file, when I got to the surveillance footage, depending on if I had a lot of time or a little bit of time, I would like click the size, you know, like this. Give me all the small ones real quick or give me all the big ones real quick, things like that. So there's little things that you can do. But um, anyway, like I said, that'll give you an idea of if you're looking for a specific thing, like, if, you know, I want the warrants. OK, so if you want to come up and look up the warrants. You're going to need to go to the RPSP and then you're going to need to go to images. And then you'll have 19 pages to flip through to find. And there's a few warrants. I'd say a, ha a good handful of them. Um, most of them, there's one that has five pages, one that has four pages. The one that has five pages has a plus two page added to it. So it's really seven pages, you know, but you'll figure it out. If, you, if you're interested in, in researching this far, if, you, if you're willing to come this far, You'll, you'll figure it out. And if you get stuck, feel free to ask one of us, any of us, that's been researching from the case file itself and not from social media. All right? Hope this helps y'all out.